In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make dynamic, resizable shapes using paint code. Usually all your paint code drawings have a constant size. Take for example this button here. When you try to use the generated code in your project to draw this button, the button will always draw at the same size. That's because the size of the button is defined by these constants in the code. Now imagine that you want to use the button several times in your app, and each time you want the button to be a different width and height. So we have to make this drawing parametric. Then we can send the dimensions of the entire drawing as parameters to the drawing method. To achieve this, we will use a frame, which is essentially a rectangle that behaves in a very special way. All shapes placed inside a frame have their position and size defined with respect to their enclosing frame. So when I move the frame around, you can see that the button also moves. When I'll resize the frame, the button won't grow in size yet, but we'll change that in just a moment. When I select the button, You'll notice that this control, which is usually disabled, is now enabled. These special symbols are resizing constraints. They define how this rectangle behaves when the enclosing frame is resized. For example, this straight line indicates that the rectangle maintains a constant margin from the top of the frame, no matter how large the frame. And the spring indicates that this distance is flexible. So let's first change the width and height constraints to flexible by simply clicking on them. This means that the button will change its dimensions when we change the dimensions of the frame, like this. Okay, let's return to the original frame size. Next, we'll also configure the right margin and the bottom margin to be rigid. It will behave quite nicely now. Lastly, I need to fix the position of the icon. We want it to always be centered vertically. Let's configure the resizing constraints of this icon. It is actually a group composed of several shapes. The group has the same resizing constraints as the button rectangle that we played with a few moments ago. We want the group to maintain a constant left margin, which is exactly what it does now. But we also want it to center vertically. We'll do this by making the top constraint flexible, the height constraint rigid, and the bottom constraint flexible. Now, when we try changing the size of the frame like this, we see that it behaves just fine. And I can show you another useful trick here. If you want to change the size of the frame without affecting the shapes inside, simply hold down the command key. Finally, I'll show you how to use the generated code in your Xcode project. You can see that the frame we've created produces a rectangle parameter in the generated drawing method. This allows us to draw the button any size we want. Let's switch to Xcode. I've prepared a small project here. There is a button view class, which is a subclass of UI view. I'll go to the main storyboard and add several UI views like this. I'll also change the class of these UI views to button view. I want several UI views here of various sizes like this. Now I'll return to the button view implementation and here in the overridden draw rect method, I want to call the drawing code to draw the button. To do this, I'll start by exporting the style kit from Paint Code. That's done. So I'll switch back to Xcode, add the style kit files. And now in button view, I can import my style kit. In the overridden draw rect method, I'll just call the draw rate button with frame style kit method. Let's use the bounds of this UI view as the frame parameter. Now when I run the project in the simulator, we see three buttons displayed with three sizes. Thanks for watching.